Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Yoga Life Film. So today I'm gonna take you through one uh, gentle yoga class. Uh, it's gonna be uh, but a gentle, relaxing class, uh, very slow. So I hope you can enjoy and uh, have a sense to experience each and every movement in a slow pace. Uh, and uh, uh, while you hold any pose, uh, you, you can feel uh, what is going on inside your body because in a fast moment you do not have room uh, to feel uh, the, the reaction uh, of our body to each and every moves uh, while we are practicing any yoga pose. Okay, so we can practice this up to one hour, so enjoy and uh, be happy. Okay, let's get started with a, a cross leg posture. In any comfortable posture, you can uh, sit. Bring your both hands to the knees with a, a mudra. Gently close your eyes. Relax your whole body. Each and every part of your body is getting relaxed, loosened. Bring your awareness uh, in one place here and right now. And with a complete awareness, uh, try to rotate your awareness throughout the body parts, each and every part. Try to migrate uh, your whole awareness uh, to each and every part of your body and just try to mentally visualize and uh, try to feel it relax. At the same time, make sure you are inhaling and exhaling slow, long and deep through the nostril into the belly. Connect yourself uh, from the outer world. Be here and try to look within. With this awareness, uh, we'll start our class. Bring your both hands in front of you, join the palms together in prayer position. And gently open your eyes. Namaste. Now, the inhale, take your both hands up. Exhale, lower down. Bring your both hands down to the floor. One more time, as you inhale, you may close your eyes and uh, move your both arms up and down so that you can feel the breath, the body, and its movement. One more last time, inhale, come up, take your both arms up, and exhale down. Now this time take your both arms up. Now interlace the fingers and palm facing up and stretch your whole body up toward the ceiling. Making your back straight. Spine erect. Keep stretching your whole upper body up toward the ceiling. At the same time keep breathing. And as you exhale, 
palm to it to the right side bring your left hand to the right knee and right hand behind you and to it to the right side make your shoulder to one line look back inhale come up one more time tell the fingers and stretch Feel your hip case, feel your spine, the muscles and joints. Keep stretching and your shoulders are touching to your ears, so it's a contracting. The shoulders uh, in here flexion. Exhale to the left side, turn to each to the left knee, right hand to the left knee, and left hand behind. Rotate your shoulders, open the chest, stomach in, and breathe. Inhale and come up. Take your both arms up and exhale down. Now bring your both hands to behind. Open the chest. Lower down your head. Shoulders should be from the back. Now as you exhale, leaning forward, extend your both arms front. Lower down your head. One more time, inhale, come up, take your both hands up, exhale, bring your both hands up behind it, okay, open the chest, look up and lean back, feel the pressure at the upper back, the chest, shoulders, breathe. Now exhale, coming forward one more time, extend your both arms front, so my key lower down your head, making your back straight, breathe. Inhale, come up, now hold the knees, extend your both legs forward now holding the knees and go down lower down hold it nice and tight bring the knees close to the chest here now move it up feet and knees as well front and back so that you can have a back muscles gentle muscles at your lower back then roll your body side to side the knees from outside, exhale, rock your forward, rock your body forward and both knees sideways and exhale, go down, one more time, inhale and exhale, front, inhale and exhale, go down, last time, inhale, exhale, go down, now this time, inhale, now cross the ankle this time, drop the knees, bring your both hands forward from the tabletop pose. Now, as you inhale, lift your right leg up, inhale, come up, tiger pose, exhale, try to cross the knee of the nose. 
Inhale, up, look up, and exhale, touch, inhale, come up, look up, and exhale, touch, and last time, inhale, come up, look up, straighten the arms, and exhale, touch, and hold this time. Stay here up to five big breath. Squeeze the stomach, shoulders open, upper back is expanded. Breathe. And inhale, come up. Now take your right leg to the left side. Take to the left side, open the chest. And lean back, lean back. Bring your both right hand uh, behind. Stand up, stomach in, pelvis open out, breathe, breathe. And as the exhale, bring the right hand down to the floor, take your right foot forward here. Yeah. Okay. Right foot forward, bring your left foot in here, yeah. to the right side. And inhale, come up, take your both hands up. Interlace the fingers, stretch, stretching both arms up, now leaning to the left side, spreading your arms, going down the left side, stomach in, hips and shoulders should be on the line, breathe, breathe, easy option if I drop the left hand on the floor, the easy option, you can stay here and breathe. Inhale, slowly come back, center, interlace the fingers once again, and exhale, go down to the right side of the right full leg, breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Now take your left hand to the left ankle, hold it nice and tight, and bend back. Push your hips forward, open the chest, and bend back. Breathe, breathe. Inhale, slowly come back. Drop your both hands down. Your left hand in front of the left knee. And take your right arm off and bend back. Or you will bring your right hand wrap over the, your back. Open the chest, stomach in, look up. So keep slightly swinging down here, open the chest, stomach in, rotate your shoulders, your right shoulders moving out, and left shoulders moving in. So the chest will be open up and feel the twisting. Okay, inhale, bring the right hand up and exhale. Bring the right hand on the right knee, fold it, bring the right hand on your back and take your left hand back and interlace the, interlace the fingers or you may hold the wrist. Look up, breathe, breathe. Straighten the left leg here. So both legs are straight. Bring your both hands to the waist here. Okay. You may fold it or straighten it. You can straighten it, it will be more stronger. Or you fold it, look up and bend back. Bend back. Breathe.
slowly go down. Bring the both hands down to the floor. Drop the left knee on the floor and take the right leg back. Drop the right knee on the floor. Now switch the side. Take the left leg on the off with the ceiling, straighten it similar to tiger. Inhale. Exhale, touch, squeeze, stomach. Inhale, up, look up. And exhale, lower down and touch. Inhale, come up, look up. And exhale, squeeze and try to touch. Last time, inhale, come up, look up. And exhale, touch and hold this time. Hold for five deep breath. Five deep breath. Stomach in. So it's moving out. Stretching your arms around your back, the spine. Inhale, come up. Now turning to right side, bring your left foot to the right side, stretching it. Open the chest, your hips is lifting up, extend your left arm behind back, lower down to the floor. And breathe. It looks like a uh, white thing, can, uh, it's a simple, gentle, but big enough. Breathe. Inhale slowly, bring back your left hand down to the floor in the same line with your right hand and take your left foot forward. Here. Now moving the right foot in and inhale, come up, take your both hands up, interlace the fingers and stretch. So stretching your both hands up toward the ceiling and you exhale, go down to the right side. Exactly in the same line, you know, your hips, shoulders, one line. Egyptian, you may drop the right hand. Uh, look up, breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Once again, interlace the fingers and stretch up. As you exhale, go down to the left. Breathe. Make sure you both hands over the left knee. Not outside, not inside. Inhale, slowly come up, center. Now take your right hand back, hold the right ankle, hold it nice and tight. Now push your hips forward at the same time. Extend your left leg back. Stomach in. Breathe. Breathe. Slowly come back. Bring your both hands down to the floor, your right hand in front of the right knee. And take your left arm all the way up. And you can bring your left hand to your back. Wrap it and hold the right thigh. Open the chest, stomach in and breathe. It's a gentle twisting because the shoulders, uh, the the opposite is a flexion and the extension in the opposite side. Inhale, bring your left hand up and exhale. Your left hand on the left knee and your right hand on your back. Interlace the fingers or you may hold the wrist. So it's up to you completely. You look up and breathe. Breathe. Open the 
on the chest, stomach pain, and keep lifting your chest off. Keep slightly moving out. Okay, release. Bring your both hands down beside the left foot and bring back your left foot back. Straighten the left leg, lower down the head here. Inhale, slowly come up, straighten the right leg and straighten the left leg. So both legs straight. Inhale, come up. Take your both hands up and bring your both hands to the waist. You have option, you may straighten the legs or you can uh, fold your left leg. That's okay. So pushing your hips forward, open the chest, hips is going down and up back. Breathe. Great. Now let's help. Pulling forward over the left leg. Go down the head on the left shin bone. Breathe. Now from here, we are turning to right side. Now in a standing position, we will go for some gentle movements. Okay. Now, hold the ankles, both ankles with both hands here. And lower down our head. Go down. More and more, as much as you can. The hips is moving up. Stomach in. Feel the stretch at the hamstring muscles and lower down the upper body towards the floor, stomach in, breathe, breathe. Bring back your both hands down to the floor and bring your feet more closer, more closer. Now folding your legs here, inhale, take your both hands up. Strengthen your legs here, the thigh muscles, the quadriceps, and feel the hamstring muscles. Breathe. Keep breathing at the same time, your hips is sinking down. Feel the your body weight it carries by your legs, your thigh muscles, is it? Strengthening. Now bring right elbow to the right thigh and your left elbow over the left ear and slide leaning to the right side. Stomach in and breathe. Inhale, come up. Back to center. And exhale, go down to the left side. Bring your right hand over the right ear. Lower down. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale, slowly come back. Straighten the legs. Once again, we will go for the the same position for the twisting your body okay now once again fold your legs lower down your hips bring your both hands to the knees hold it nice and tight so staying here now turning and twisting your shoulders to the left side means your right shoulder is moving to left and your left shoulder is moving out and feel the twisting maximum Breathe, breathe. So straighten your right arm. Keep pushing your right knee outside. At the same time, you gotta keep pulling your left knee outside. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Straighten the legs, straighten your arms here.
Sweep the side. Now pull your legs and turning, twisting to the right side. Your left shoulder is moving down to the right side. And push your right knee outside. Open the chest. Breathe. Feel the maximum twisting. Especially at your upper back. Inhale, so we come back. Take your both arms up. Interlace the fingers and stretch. Stretch your whole body. Breathe. Exhale, bring your both hands back behind. Interlace the fingers, straighten your arms, open the chest, shoulders moving back as we inhale. Slightly arch back at the same time, move your hips forward, look up as you inhale. Up and exhale. Falling forward, lower down your head. Lower down as if you are going down to the floor, touching to the floor and extend your both arms forward. Stomach in, feel the stretch at the shoulders, the hamstring muscles and breathe. Breathe. And slowly come back. So fold your legs, gently come back. Swing the side. Now turning your right foot to the right side, left foot in. Make your hips and shoulders in one line. Look up and gently arch back. And exhale, falling forward over the right leg. Go down, go down, and extend your both arms forward. Flexion your whole upper body over the right leg, not leaning to the inside breathe strengthen your right leg make it more stronger and breathe inhale come back and slowly to center switch the side now turning your left foot to the left side bring the right to the in make your hips and shoulders in one line stomach in open the chest forward as you inhale Come up, look up, shoulders moving back, stand them up and just as back. Inhale. And as you exhale, falling forward over the left leg, going down very slow with care. Extend your both arms forward. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale, slowly come up and bring your both hands down to the floor here. Perfect. Now we are switching to another mode. So take your left leg all the way back and come to the plank pose here. If you feel it's a, a strong pose up here, you aim to drop the left knee. Okay. The right knee. So strengthen your arms here and breathe. Now bring your right foot outside of the right hand here. Lower down the hips. You may drop the knee to one more gentle. More easy option. If you are more little more stronger, then you can lift your left knee up. Take your right arm up and bend back. Lean back. Open the chest, twist, and breathe. Keep breathing and feel the twisting, feel the stretching. Slowly come back to center. Here you will drop the elbows. Both elbows inside the right foot here. Hips is going down, left leg straight, extended back. 
Samakin and Lupard Bread. Slowly. Come to opposite side, take the right leg back. We set the left foot here. Come to plank pose once again. Look front. Now this time, bring the leg foot outside of the left hand. Lower down the hips. Especially have the right hip down. Open the chest. Take your left arm up and bring it back. Breathe. Keep lifting your chest up, keep the shoulder stretch, stomach in, hips is sitting down, right leg straight, is your center of the right knee, that's okay. So we'll bring back your left and down to the floor, drop the both elbows inside the left foot. Right foot flat on the floor and hips is going down, stomach in, look front, breathe. As I mentioned uh, earlier, it's going to be very gentle, relaxing and holding uh, sequence. So you need to have a patience and uh, enjoy the practice, otherwise if you are um, uh, not uh, enjoying this practice, you will feel boring. You need to feel the movements, you need to understand uh, the reaction of uh, the of your body to each and every posture. Uh, slowly, gently take the left leg back and come down to the floor position. Now shake your legs, fold your legs and shake. Move for your feet side to side so that you can have a good uh, flexibility at the knee joints. Straight the legs, uh, feet together, or slightly apart, that's okay. Now we'll go for one uh, variation of a cobra pose, it's called as the snake pose, surpassan. So bring your both hands uh, beside the shoulders, fingers pointing forward, okay. So elbows close to your body here, facing behind. Now as you inhale, lift your chest up. More and more up to level. Now bring your both hands in the same line with your shoulders and look up and lift your upper body as high as possible. Look up and breathe. Keep your back muscles. Breathe. And slow down. Now, take your right hand back behind your body, fold it, okay, extend your left arm forward, extend it forward, straighten it. Now, as you inhale, come up, it's also a variation of a cobra pose, as you inhale, extend your left arm forward and up towards the ceiling and look up, breathe, stay here, breathe. Focus on the spine, your upper back. Breathe. And exhale down. To the side. Bring your left hand to your back. Hold it. Back of the hand on your back. Now extend your right arm forward this time. Again, as you inhale, 
lift your chest up, extend your right arm forward and up towards the ceiling. Look up and breathe. Keep lifting more and more higher as much as possible. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And lower down. Bring your both hands uh, forward. Fold it. And then the forehead on the back of the hand. Spread the both arms sideways, palm facing down here. It's seen on the floor. Now, as you inhale, use your back muscles or lower back muscles at the same time. With the inhalation, just raise your right leg up as high as possible. Keep lifting more and more higher. Breathe. Breathe. And slow down to the side here. As you inhale, come up, raise your left leg as high as possible. Keep lifting and breathe. And slow down. Now go for the bow pose, Dhanurasana, so fold your legs, now hold the ankles from outside to your respective hands, hold it nice and tight, as you inhale, lift your chest, head up, up to the upper level, at the same time lifting your legs up, so means you, your stomach, your belly on the floor and the, the rest of the parts of the floor, so keep Pulling, keep lifting more and more up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Feel the stress at the shoulders of your body, front side of the body. At the same time, the, the stress, contraction, the squeezedness of the back side of the body. Breathe. Shoulder down. Fold the right leg here, interlace the fingers so your left side of your head uh, resting on the back of the hands. It's uh, one of the best relaxing positions for that uh, most circular and fist playing pose. Very good to relax your body. both hands uh, back to the floor and come back to the sitting position. Stretch out the legs forward and shake it. Now fold your right leg, bring your right foot to the left inner thigh. Inhale, take your both hands up. Stretch, exhale, falling forward over the left leg. Hold the left foot nice and tight and stretch forward. You are pulling the left foot at the same time. You are uh, grabbing towards the left foot, your whole upper body. 
So uh, from opposite side you are stretching and pulling, stretching and pulling at the same time. Inhale, head up, take both arms up. As you exhale, twist to the right side, bring your left hand to the right knee and right hand back behind your body. To return the toe and twist to the right side, open the chest and look back. So you see chin over the right shoulder here. Open the chest and stand them up. Take your spine straight upright. As you inhale, bring your right arm off and lower down over the left leg once again and hold the left heel from outside. Or you may hold the big toe. If you are not able to hold the left heel, that's okay. Look up, breathe, feel the stress at the right side of the body, the trunk, the, the shoulders and breathe. Inhale, slowly come back. Take your both arms up. And exhale down. Extend your right leg forward and sink. Let's sweep the legs, sweep the side, so the down. Fold your left leg, bring your left foot to the right inner thigh. So straighten your right leg forward. As you inhale, take your both arms up. Exhale, falling forward. So you both back, along with your both arms in a straight line, leaning forward, leaning forward. Now hold the right foot from outside, hold it nice and tight, and uh, going down. Good. Inhale, head up, take your both arms up. As you exhale, twist to the left side, bring your right hand to the left knee and left hand behind your body. In the same line with the spine. But make your spine straight and turn, twist to the left side. Your left shoulder is moving out, the right shoulder is moving in. Breathe. As you inhale, take your left arm up, exhale, leaning forward, falling over the right leg, hold the right foot, hold it nice and tight, or you may hold the big toe, and look up, breathe, feel the stretch, left side of the trunk, the case, including the shoulders, and breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Take your both hands up. And exhale. Bring your both hands down to the floor. Extend your both legs forward. And once again, six, six. Now fold your legs, both legs. Hold from the outside, holding nice and tight, go for the butterfly. So knees up and down and feel the, the stress at the hips, joints, 
gives great level. At the same time, you come out of uh, these uh, movements and these stress. Just try to feel it, uh, what is going on. You may close your eyes so that you can feel how it is going to help to make your hips uh, open, flexible. Flexibly, may put the elbows on the thighs. Otherwise, you may drop the elbows on the floor and going down. Lower down on the head as if you're trying to toss the floor with the forehead, or you may use the block under the forehead. So, feel the intense stretching at uh, the hips. At the same time, uh, slightly the stress at uh, the lumbar region, the coccyx. Inhale, slowly come up. Make your back straight, take your both hands up. And exhale, bring your both hands down to the floor. Now hold the big toes with the both hands here. Now making your back straight, holding the big toes nice and tight. Now as you exhale, stretch your both legs forward. Make your back straight. Lock the knee, stomach in, open the chest. Strengthen your elbows and breathe. Find your own balance uh, on the seat bone. So control your balance uh, sitting on the seat bone. Breathe. Stay here and breathe. It's a stretching and a balancing. Now holding the big toes, you can uh, spread the both legs sideways. So stretching, stretching your hips and the hamstring muscles. Stretch. Now hold it once again and lower down. Go back to the super impulsor and lie down on the back. <clears throat> now bring your both feet more closer to the hips. Both hands uh, beside the uh, feet here. Now, as you inhale, lift your hips and your heels up. At the same time, raise your both arms up. You can see, inhale, up. Take your both hands up. Exhale, down. Bring your feet more closer. When you are lifting your heels, you may talk the toes to the floor okay again repeat inhale up exhale down in the shoulders stretching inhale up exhale down two more times inhale up Exhale down for the last time. Inhale up. And this time you may hold. Hold for five big breaths. Big, big breath. 
at the same time keep lifting your hips more higher toes are top into the floor stomach in open the chest breathe Feel your shoulders, the scapula, and your neck, the cervical spine. Slow low down. Hold the same bone, holding nice and tight with the internal fingers. So holding nice and tight as you exhale, stomach in and uh, try to pose your knees with the nose. If it's possible, hold it. Slowly down. Spread the arm sideways. Bring your right foot over the left knee outside and twist to the left side, bring your both knees to the left side and turn your head to the right side, look to the right hand fingers both knees on the floor touching inhale slowly, come back, switch the side this, this time your left foot over the right knee, means outside the right knee and lower down to the right side look to the left side make sure your knees are with floor so that you can feel the stretch at the left hip the muscles stretched Inhale one more time. Bring your right foot on the left knee and lower down to the left side. Look to the right side. You may close your eyes so that you can feel the stretch, stretch of the muscles. So this twisting is gonna help you to. Reduce the back pain if you have uh, problems like a back pain or sciatica pain. Slowly come back center. Let's do the side for the last time. To the right side and look to the left side. Stretch out the legs forward, slightly feet apart, arm sideways, palm facing up, and close your eyes. Relax the whole body here. Gonna relax uh, up to five minutes. At the same time, breathe. Feel your breath, feel your whole body and uh, try to observe each and every parts of the body. At the same time relax with a slow, long and deep breath in and out. And this long breath is going to help you to make you cool, calm, relaxed. So focus on the breath each and every time during the practice of yoga.
bring our feet together, take your both arms up, interlace the fingers and stretch your whole body, stretch your spine, each and every joints of your body, whole body is stretching, feel the stretch with the breathing in and out. Pull your legs and turn to the right side here. Bring your left hand to the left peak of the thigh muscles and your head resting on the right shoulder. With your closed eyes, feel uh, as if you are uh, completely relaxed. and lift your whole upper body and uh, sitting in uh, cross leg posters once again bring your both hands to the knees with the closed eyes feel your breath feel your body feel as if you are completely relaxed because the, the posture, the gentle posture is really helpful, useful for you to make your body feel more feel less and uh, feeling more easy to reach uh, each and every parts of the body feel and uh, simultaneously your breathing is getting more slow longer and deeper. Now moving on forward to end this session of the three ohm chanting all together. Inhale deeply.
kami dilakukan semakin fit and place it on the closed eyes and gently massage your eye muscles and yes Again, bring your both hands to a prayer position and just slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Hope you like the class and uh, enjoyed it with a very um, gentle, relaxing manner because this class is really helpful to reduce uh, the back pain, relieve uh, some stress, anxiety. If you go through the whole class, then you can feel the result and you can get the results, the maximum out of it. Okay, so just uh, feel free to uh, comment and if you have any suggestion, you can put your uh, suggestion in the comment box i'll go through and uh, will back to you with the answer okay so this is all what i wanted to share with you see you next time have a good day bye bye